While we've had our fair share of changes from cruise lines in recent months, it is not all bad. In fact, there are some ways that cruising is much better than years before. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now there's no doubt about it, we have seen changes over recent months and some of them, let's face it, aren't all good, but it has been a little bit negative and I thought in this video we can change all that because I was reminded of some of the things that have actually gotten much better that we are probably taking for granted. Now these are all changes that we're seeing on cruises in 2023. However, some of these are recent changes while others took a little while to evolve. Now I asked in the Life While Cruise community, what are the things that you won't miss about cruising in the old days? And of course there are some responses that came up again and again, and I'm gonna share them with you. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, the flexible dining on cruise ships. This is definitely one of the biggest changes that has happened in cruising over the years. I remember going on cruises many years ago and you pretty much only had traditional dining. So you were either eating at around 6 p.m. or at around 8.30 p.m. You were sitting at set tables with basically six or eight or even 10 strangers that you were pretty much stuck with the entire cruise. Now, some people absolutely love that. And for people who love that, traditional dining does still exist. However, in recent years, we started to have open dining, which meant flexibility for cruisers to eat at the time that you wanted. And more recently, and I've noticed, especially since cruises have come back from the pandemic, is that you do have many tables that are available for two or for four. So you don't have to share a table with other people if you don't want to. Now, I know some people absolutely love sharing a table with other people, so I do hope that cruise lines continue to have this option. Please let me know if you've made new friends by sitting at the same table with other people, or if this is an aspect of cruising that you like, or if you prefer to sit on your own. Number two, embarkation appointment times. Almost universally, people say they absolutely love the new way of embarking on cruise ships now. Doing your online check-in, picking appointment times, showing up at those appointment times, and not having those crowds to get onto the cruise ship, not having to wait for a long time in those cruise ship terminals. It is now pretty fast to get on a cruise ship without all of that waiting around. Even downloading the Cruise Line app and filling out that health questionnaire right from your phone, it just seems to make the boarding process so much easier than before. Now, by the way, I should mention that these are in no particular order. However, there is one particular thing that came up again and again, almost universally by so many people, and I will share that one with you towards the end of the video, along with some thoughts. Number three, cruise ship internet. Now, cruise ship internet, it gets a lot of flack because it is on the pricey side. It doesn't always work well. However, it really has gotten a lot better. On our last cruise, we were on Celebrity Beyond. We had the Starlink internet with our premium Wi-Fi, and it worked really, really well. And overall, the internet is getting better on cruises, especially when you look back at the old days. Yes, I remember going to the internet cafe and it took about 20 to 30 minutes to go online to send an email please let me know if you remember those days at all it seemed like just using a computer and the internet that was an activity in itself now speaking of technology the cruise line apps have also added convenience to all of our cruise experiences so now the cruise line app not only can we look at our planner on the cruise line app and by the way most cruise lines do still offer you a paper planner as well so it doesn't really take away from anything but the app well there really is is a lot that can be done on the app. From Princess's Ocean Medallion, I love that Ocean Medallion, but I really like the fact that you can order items right from your phone and the crew will deliver them to you anywhere on the cruise ship. On the Virgin app, you can simply shake your cell phone and you'll have a delivery of champagne. With the Celebrity Cruise Line app, you can adjust the temperature in your cabin, you can open and close your blinds, and even open and close your lights even before you get to the cabin. With Holland America's app, you can order pizza and have it delivered, and of course, you can plan your excursions, you can make your reservations, and even chat with your fellow cruise mates all on the app. I remember the old days where people had to bring walkie-talkies to keep in touch on a cruise ship. 
no longer do we have to do that. Now, by the way, please let me know if you do like the cruise planner on the app or if you prefer that paper copy. I have to admit, I'm still a paper girl myself, but my son really does love seeing the activities on the app. Now, while this is not a change that everybody loves, it really has been coming gradually over the last few years. And I think it's here to say, it basically is saying goodbye to strict cruise line dress codes. Now, cruise lines do still have dress codes. However, there's no doubt about it. They are not being enforced the way they were a few years ago, and they're definitely not as formal as they were either. Now, personally, I don't really mind it. I think a lot of people still dress up and love to do so, but I do think it leaves a little bit more leeway for people to dress how they feel more comfortable. And I think it also takes a lot of the stress away that some people felt when it came to those formal nights on a cruise. More choices when it comes to cruise ship cabins. Now, a lot of people pointed out that balcony cabins are now much more affordable than they were years ago. As newer cruise ships are being built, many of them are being built with the majority of their cabins being balcony cabins. And of course, you still have inside cabins, you still have ocean view cabins. On some cruise ships, you have solo cabins or studio cabins. I think that is definitely a plus, but we're definitely seeing more choices when it comes to cruise ship cabins and more affordability as well. Cruise ship stabilizers. Now I have to say for all of the time that I have been cruising, that is since 2004, well, I've always had stabilizers on my cruise ships and I'm very grateful for that because I think otherwise I would have ended up getting seasick, which usually I don't. However, many people have been cruising for, well, decades and they do remember the times when there were no stabilizers, when they were literally walking down the hallways, having to hold on to the railings on both sides. Now, I can't even imagine cruising without the technology of stabilizers. And I'm definitely grateful for the technology that cruise ships are now using for smooth sailing for the passengers and crew. Okay, we have one more before we come to the biggie. So a lot of people say something that they will not miss are those tipping envelopes. Now tipping envelopes, I think that they do still exist. Sometimes you can pick them up at the guest services desk. Other people have said that they've seen them in their cabins. Please let me know if you've seen them. I have not seen them in years. However, something that a lot of people like is they can either prepay any gratuities to crew if they like, or they will be charged automatically. I do remember cruising years ago and having to count out uh, how much money to put in each envelope for the assistant waiter and the waiter and the maitre d and the cabin attendant, put that in the envelope, find them. Now I know some people still like to tip in cash. Other people prefer to prepay their gratuities. Other people prefer to have them charged automatically. Other people like to get a package where tips are included. So you have a wide variety, but not having those envelopes, well, a lot of people say they are happy to see that gone. Okay, so the biggest, most positive change that most cruisers say has happened when it comes to cruising is the e-masters. And yes, the one thing that they will not miss is that old style of mustard drill. So yes, that mustard drill where you're standing side by side, outside on the deck, underneath the lifeboats, everybody with their life jackets on, or everybody gathered in a lounge, also side by side, waiting for 30 to 45 minutes all together in a hot, steamy room. The one thing universally that cruisers have said that they love in the recent changes is that e-muster. And they do not like the idea of any cruise lines returning to this. Now, recently we did hear news that Disney Cruises and Norwegian Cruise Line are returning to that old style of mustard drill. Now they say they've reevaluated it, but people are just not happy about it. However, if you are worried that other cruise lines are going to follow suit, Carnival Corporation and Royal Caribbean did say that they are happy with the E-Master, it is working well, and they have no plans to be going back anytime soon. Now I know there's a lot that has changed in cruising over the years and more than just 10 positive things. So please let me know some of the things that have changed in cruising that you think are good things. Please let me know down in the comments below and please let me know as well what you think of the E-Master. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it fun to take a look at the positive changes for a change. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.